Is, have you been given an indication at all what the numbers show as well, governor? I, I, again, I know what the numbers are going to show without seeing them. We're at a floor right now. We've been in a pandemic for the last two school years. Our scores are at an all-time low, but it gives us a great opportunity to build off that floor. I don't, last year was another pandemic year. We can fully expect this a three to five year recovery in terms of a learning recovery. We're right at it. We understand that this year, finally, we're gonna open up in a non-COVID environment, and we're gonna make tremendous um, uh, improvements off that floor that has been set by the COVID. He says you're disconnected. You have so kids in private school. Let me address the RICAS issue. So what I'm hearing is he knows the scores, but he doesn't think that parents and teachers should know what the scores are. Well, you're holding the RICAS scores hostage for an election. And I'm hearing from teachers that say they need the scores in order to uh, plan for their students' education, to work on an IEP. Parents deserve to know. They also deserve to know and to judge uh, what you've said you've done for education by the scores before the election. Those scores were supposed to come out in October. The only other time that the scores were held was in 2018 when Gina Raimondo was running for governor, and that was the first year, so I'll give her a bye. But there is no reason that these scores cannot be ready now.